I want to walk through the website, uh, the course website, uh, for a few minutes and uh, and show you around. So when you lo uh, log into uh, to Canvas, you'll be taken to the uh, the dashboard. Uh, so obviously your courses will be a little bit different than the than the ones I'm teaching, but uh, uh, the one you want to select is uh, EGR six zero eight three quality control and improvement. So when you click on that, uh, you're taken to the main main course page. Uh, so in here you can uh, you can read about the course. Uh, you can uh, check out the course schedule, and you can look at the uh, course learning outcomes. Uh, first thing I would suggest you do is uh, click on course schedule. And you can see the course uh, layout for the semester. And uh, this is kind of an abbreviated, uh, you know, second summer term is uh, kind of abbreviated. It's not a, obviously not a, a full uh, fall or spring semester. So what I tried to do is I tried to line it up so, so that we'd have uh, uh, about a module a week. So we're going to do six, six total modules. Uh, so on the left-hand column, you can see the date uh, that, I, that you should be in, in the module and what you should be doing there, during that week. Um, you know, read the syllabus, uh, take the syllabus quiz, uh, check out the textbook, chapters one and two. Uh, on the far right column is the is the due dates. Um, so you can uh, go down through here. You can see that some uh, uh, some modules, for example, the uh, uh, module one has a quiz. Module one has a a case study that you have to submit. Uh, most of them are like that for the, the modules. There's a quiz, there's a case study um, that you have to complete. And there's also a discussion board that you have to have to post in and you have to respond uh, to a, a fellow student. So let's click back to home and go back to the main page here. You can, you can access the syllabus from uh, one or two places you know, from the main page if you click on syllabus. Uh, you can also access it over in the, uh, the drop down menu. Uh, but if you click on syllabus, it'll take you to the syllabus. Uh, so I encourage you to read over the syllabus and become familiar with it. It's got my uh, my name, um, my office number, my phone number, and my email address. It also has the textbook that we're going to be using this semester. Um, this textbook is, uh, you know, we're not going to, you, you can use any previous edition of the textbook as well. So if you find uh, a cheaper version on Amazon, uh, I encourage you to use that. We're really going to uh, reference the book, uh, the reference material of the book, and uh, it's a great book. It's it it's uh, kind of hard to read in areas, uh, and uh, so you know. But you you know I, I do encourage you to get it. This this is a reference. You can click on Amazon. It'll take you to the uh, Amazon link where you can find the textbook. And again, there's there's previous versions of this. You can get an e-textbook or you can get a paperback. Um, those are fine. Uh, there's there's previous versions out there. Uh, you know, this is the probably the eighth edition. There's a seventh edition and the sixth edition. They, they don't change a whole lot. Uh, you can see how your grades uh, is uh, totaled in the class. It's uh, sixty percent is based on case studies. Uh, Twenty percent is multiple choice qu quizzes. Each module has a quiz. Uh, Ten percent is uh, discussion group participation. Uh, and that's uh, is uh, making a post and responding to post. And the grading scale is the standard: uh, uh, 90 to 100 is an A, uh, 80 to 89 is a B, etc. So if you click on modules, that takes you to actually uh, the things you're going to be doing in in the course. You can see uh, getting started. Uh, you can read over some of the student policies, university policies. Minimum, minimum technical requirements. Uh, let's take a look at that for a second. Uh, the big software that we're going to use here is uh, is Minitab, and so uh, why I don't require you to actually buy a, a particular version of the textbook, uh, we will be using Minitab exclusively. And uh, the good news is that you can, um, as a student, uh, you can rent it for uh, six months for uh, from a website called On the Hub for for thirty two dollars and ninety nine cents. Uh, and it runs on PCs or Macs, and uh, it really makes our our work a lot a lot more friendly, a lot lot easier. Uh, we could do these things in Excel, but but uh, uh, the learning curve is a lot is a lot uh, steeper, and 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 the Minitab kind of takes care of a lot of stuff that we'd have to do manually, and even in Excel. So 
So let's go back to the modules. So for example, the, uh, the first thing you should do after logging into the course is uh, uh, watch the course welcome. I'll have a, a video in there just uh, talking about what the course is. Uh, course navigation tutorial, that's going to be this tutorial here. Uh, module zero, uh, basically I want you to introduce yourself to the class. Uh, so basically tell your Tell us your name, where you're from, what you'd like to do for fun, uh, and reply to one other student's post. Uh, also, one thing to keep in mind here is that you will not see another student's reply until you make a first post. You have to make a post before you can see anybody else's response responses. Um, the quizzes, uh, if you click on, for example, the uh, uh, the quizzes, you can, you can uh, uh, there's quizzes you take. Uh, I'll give you a little preview here, the first first one here. Uh, you know, this is basically, the, the quizzes basically cover the, the reading in the textbook. Uh, you know, so that, that kind of, and I'll, I'll sort of give you what, what particular sections to read and that sort of thing to get you ready for, for the quizzes. Uh, the big thing, I think, are the case studies. That's exactly where, where you're going to uh, uh, spend a lot of time. Uh, that's where you're going to actually learn the material. Um, and uh, so each case study has a, has a rubric that I use to grade, to grade by. And uh, so if you have any questions on, on, on the course as you're going, as you're going through the course, uh, please email me. I'll be making frequent uh, uh, announcements and, and emails out to everybody to keep you on task. Uh, hope you enjoy the course. Uh, good luck with the course. And... Uh, I'll see you in the modules.